Hi guys, today we are going to be learning about something called the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is referring to a flat surface that goes on in each direction and um, people used early forms of the coordinate plane as a map and you can see that it sort of looks like a compass where you have north, south, east, and west. And today we're going to talk about how to plot points on a coordinate plane. So the first thing I want to do is talk to you about the coordinate plane. First of all, we can see that it has a horizontal line. And we call this the x-axis. We also have a vertical line. This vertical line is what we call the y-axis. The next thing that you might notice is you have a point where both the y and the x-axis meet. And there's no number there. This is what we call the origin. And it's just zero. Zero for x and zero for y. The next thing here, we can see that we have four different squares. These are called quadrants, and quad means four. And so we use the Roman numeral to describe each quadrant, and it goes counterclockwise. So this is one, two, three, and four. And so by using this, we can plot different points on here. So what I want to do is talk to you about how to use this when you have what we call coordinates or a set. So here's my first set of coordinates. So to coordinate means to work together. So this is the x-axis and the y-axis working together to give us one particular point. The rule for using the coordinate plane is the first number is always on the x line and you do that first. So I can see that 3 is my first number. So it means it has to be somewhere on your x-axis. And I can see that this point right here is 3. Now my second number or coordinate is 5. That means it has to be somewhere on the y-axis. And I can see I can go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here it is. And what I do is I move over and up until we find the point where they meet. And I place a point there and I label it. This is 3, 5. Let's do some more together. You'll notice that there's also some negative numbers on here as well. We can see that the positive numbers go to the right and up, and then negative numbers go to the left and down. So if I look at my first coordinate, it's on the x-axis and it's negative seven. So I find negative seven right here. Now my second number is a positive number, so I'm going to go up and find it on my y-axis until I get to the 11, which is right here. And then I just go over, I'll move this guy out of the way, and up, boop, 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 boop. make sure that I'm at the correct point. And there's my coordinate for negative 7, 11. That's this guy. Let's do one more. Here I can see I have two negative numbers negative 2, negative 8. So again, I always go on my x-axis first. Here's negative 2. And then if I come down, I can see there's my negative 8, and I just go over and down until they meet, and this is my coordinate. And I will label it. Negative 2, negative 8. So originally the coordinate plane was one of the first maps that people could use. In the very beginning maps were just pictures of places and they weren't very accurate and they weren't particularly helpful if you were out on the ocean and you didn't have any landmarks to look at. So I'll be telling you the story later another day but the coordinate plane was developed to help people know exactly where they were on the earth. So what is work that you can do with this? 
Well, the first thing is I'm going to supply these papers for you later, but I'm going to show you how to draw your own coordinate plane. And all you need is a pencil and a ruler and a piece of graph paper. So my graph paper has large squares, but any piece of graph paper will do. It's not going to be a problem. And I will grab my ruler here. So the first thing that you want to do is you'll need to draw your two axes, your x-axis and your y-axis. So it's just like you're making a big capital letter T. And I'll put it right here. Always using your ruler. So I made my y-axis and now it's time to make my x-axis. And you can cut out and tape your graph paper together to make really big coordinate planes. For right now I'm just going to use what I have to show you what to do. So it's not quite even, but that's okay. It's, I still have my four quadrants, I have my x-axis, and I have my y-axis. So I'm good to go. So the next thing that I need to do is label my x-axis. And you can see where I'm making the line. It's not here in the middle. It has to be on the place where both of the lines on the grid meet up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now these are negative. So this is as far as I can get with my x-axis. Now it's time to do my y-axis. These are positive, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I need to do the negative numbers on my y-axis. All right, then I need to label it. There's my Y axis and my X axis. This will really help you because if you mix up your X and Y, then the answer won't be right. So now, now that you have your coordinate plane, what you can do is take a separate sheet of paper and I've just written some different coordinates down. So I'm also going to label them X and Y. This is just another extra step that you can do to help you get the numbers in the correct place. So if I take this first one, it's 5, 7. So the first thing I do, I come over here, find my positive 5 on the X line, right here, and positive 7 on my Y line, and I just go over and up until they meet in the right place. And there's my coordinate, and I label it 5, 7. I've written one over here. Now it says negative 12, 3. I don't have a negative 12 on my particular one here, so I'll just change that. Negative 2, 3. So negative 2, positive 3, over and up. And there it is. Negative 2, positive 3. So you can make your own coordinate planes. You can practice writing and plotting your coordinates. Uh, you could plot them in a picture. You could try to make, um, you know, you could do a Christmas tree design or a heart design. Um, you could practice plotting different points in each of the quadrants and getting familiar with your negatives and your positive numbers. This is really important work that you can be doing. Everything that we learn on the coordinate plane after this is based on a good understanding of how to read and plot the coordinate plane. So this is excellent work for you to be practicing just as much as you can. And that is the coordinate plane.